In this lesson, we will learn how to solve equations and factorize and expand expressions. When we want to use our TI and SPI CAS to solve, expand, or factorize, we can press menu and then navigate to algebra. In this video, we will look at the first five commands and begin by selecting solve. Once we select solve, we need to type in our equation. We'll look at solving 3x minus 2 equals 7. To enter in the equal sign, we press the equal sign button underneath the blue control button. Once we've typed in our equation, we need to put a comma, which is at the bottom left-hand side of our keypad, and then the pronumeral that we are solving for, in this case, x. Once we've typed it all in, we press enter. The way the TI Inspire reads this is that we are solving 3x minus 2 equals 7 for the pronumeral x. We can also use the solve command to solve inequalities. This time, we will solve 3x minus 2 less than 7. So again, to enter in the solve command, we press menu, go to algebra, and select solve. To enter in an inequality, we need to press control and then the equal button. And then from there, we can select the less than sign. Once again, after we've typed in the inequality, we need to put a comma followed by an X to tell the TI Inspire that we are solving for X. To factorize an expression, we can press menu and then go to algebra and then select factor. To use this command, we enter in the expression. In this case, we will factorize y squared minus five. And then we press a comma followed by the pronumeral that we're interested in, in this case, y. If we do not put a comma y, sometimes the command will not work. For example, if we were to highlight our earlier work and press enter to bring it down to a new line, if we had not put in that comma y, we'd see that the command doesn't work. If we don't include the comma and the pronumeral, the TI Inspire will find rational factors. Whereas if we do include the comma and the pronumeral, the TI Inspire will try to find real factors. If we want to multiply and expand brackets, we can use the expand command in the algebra menu. To use the expand command, we type in our expression, making sure to put a multiply sign between our coefficients, our pronumerals, and our brackets. Once we're done, we enter in a comma and the pronumeral and press enter. Let's say we wanted to solve 4x squared plus 9x plus 2 equal to 0. We could do this using the solve command or in the algebra menu, we could use the zeros command. To use the zeros command, we need to type in our expression. So we could type in 
4x squared plus 9x plus 2. Once we've typed in our expression, we press comma x and then enter. The zeros command works similar to the solve command. The only difference here is that the output is given in a list. And the way the CAS reads this command is that we are solving the expression that we type in equal to zero for x. So with the zeros command, the expression that we type in, the TI inspire assumes that we are solving that equal to zero. To factorize by completing the square using the TI inspire, we press menu and then go to algebra and select complete the square. To use this command, we enter in our expression. So again, we can type in 4x squared plus 9x plus 2. After that, we press the comma, followed by the pronumeral, and press enter. That's all for this session.